Christian Clark, you want to start us off, please? Hey, Thomas, uh, Christian Clark with NOLA.com. Um, you know, what were your initial you thoughts? Doing? I'm good, man. I'm doing pretty well today. Uh, just was curious, you know, what were your initial thoughts, uh, you know, when you when you saw the trade was happening and uh, what do you think about just joining this young team in New Orleans? So I was definitely very excited. Uh, obviously, at the beginning of this process, uh, it was something new for me. I've never been traded in my life, so uh, uh, it was interesting. Uh, obviously, I expected something to happen, so it wasn't that surprising for me. I think it's always good that when you're ready for uh, something like this to happen, uh, the timing wasn't the best because I was on the way from Tokyo, from the Olympics, back to Czech Republic. Uh, we flew through Paris, so... When I landed, I, I kind of knew that that is official. Uh, hopefully, there is Wi-Fi already on on the flight, you know. So I was uh, talking to my uh, to my agents and everybody. So I, I was in a picture, but uh, I was very excited. You know, I think it's a it's a great young team. Uh, I've heard the best about the organization. Uh, you know, I have a friend who's my ex teammate, Willy Hernan Gomez, who will continue, and I'm very uh, glad for that. And uh, you know, I knew from him. Uh, about the team a little bit when we played against you guys. So, uh, you know, very, very excited uh, to be around a team that has so much potential. You mentioned that being traded was a first for you, that this is the first time that that happened. Um, I, I was curious, um, can you can you talk about um, just having, obviously, Garrett Temple, you've been a teammate with him. Mm -hmm. Is that something that helps at all? And, and what kind of, uh, of a teammate and what kind of player do you think the Pelicans are getting with him? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, Gary uh, helped me with a lot of things, uh, helped a lot of with the young guys uh, that we had last year in Bulls. Uh, obviously, he's going back home, so I, I know he is super excited. And uh, I think that that always helps that when you share this uh, process with someone that you know and that uh, you played with. Uh, like I said, he's the one of the best professionals that I was around, and I think – he always, him and Ted Young last year, they had a great influence on the young guys. I think uh, that's why also New Orleans was interested in him and that's what they will get from him uh, and, and that kind of help uh, for the young guys to develop. Uh, hey, Thomas, um, have you had conversations with David Griffin or Trajan Langdon or even head coach Willie Green about your potential role and fit here and what they expect from you going forward? Uh, not, not really yet. Uh, I, I was, I was on the phone with Griff and with Trajan, uh, when I, when I landed to Paris, you know, uh, we spoke a little bit, you know, uh, it was, everything happened really fast. So, uh, I was just glad that, you know, I could hear from them. Uh, it was a good conversation that I had with Griff, you know, he was following me, uh, since I was playing in Sevilla. So that's a long time ago. Uh, it's always great to hear, you know, uh, from from a new team or from new front office that, that know your path and know your, your history. Uh, I haven't talked to coach yet. I think, you know, like I said, it was very hectic and uh, uh, he, he had his busy, busy schedule. I'm, I'm following the summer league. I know they're playing pretty good basketball. So I'm, I'm definitely uh, very excited uh, just to have a conversation with him. Uh, but I think we're going to have a we're going to have that type of conversation when the time is right. Uh, but, you know, also Trajan, uh, I know him from Europe, you know, I was following EuroLeague a lot. He's a EuroLeague legend. Uh, he won a couple of EuroLeague titles with uh, Cheska and I had a uh, chance to meet him when I was playing uh, in, in D.C. So uh, I'm excited about a about, uh, new team and about the people in it. Hey, uh, just, you know, just for the folks who, who might not know, I mean, what can you just say about, uh, you know, the skill set? You, you bring to the floor and what people can expect from you in New Orleans? Uh, well, uh, I think, you know, uh, in my five years in the NBA, I think I, I showed the people that uh, I think I know how to play uh, with different lineups. Uh, I, I can adjust a lot uh, to, to whatever uh, team needs me to do. Uh, I always uh, find a pride in uh, playing very hard every day, you know, playing hard in defense, playing hard in offense and, and be, be the team player. You know, I think uh, I always try to, you know, improve the teammates that I'm playing around. Uh, always, always get them involved. Always uh, try to make them better. Uh, I think that's what I did since I was in D.C. Uh, you know, hopefully I, I, I did that also in the Bulls. And I always take a, take a pride in like uh, in my teammates liking uh, to share the floor with me. So, uh, 
I think I'm in my role now in my in my uh, part of career that uh, I have that kind of experience not only from NBA but also from international basketball that I can share that kind of experience and and also also be that uh, good influence on on a young players that, and, and sharing my knowledge uh, that I get uh, you know in my in my career. Hey, what's up, Tomas? You mentioned uh, getting to play with your national team this summer mm -hmm. uh, against uh, your new teammate Nikhil Alexander Walker. Had the crazy game. Yep. Right? <laughs> I mean, what, what, just what did you take away from that experience this summer playing for your national team? And, and you know, how much did that benefit you? Listen, it was amazing. Uh, I mean, it was crazy for us because we really uh, didn't think that we have a chance to, to qualify for Olympics. We didn't have a time for preparation. But our national team has been playing together for a long time, you know, and I think it's sometimes that what matters the most in international basketball. Uh, for example, you know, Canada obviously had their quality. Uh, they, they had eight NBA players with a good role in, in, in NBA teams, but they've never played together. And I think uh, when you have a one game uh, that is decisive, uh, it's sometimes, you know, tough to find the chemistry. Uh, but I know he actually, he particularly had one of the better games. Uh, I know he created a lot of problems. I always liked him as a player, uh, you know, can do a lot, can shoot, can drive, uh, very, very skilled uh, with his finishes around the rim. Uh, that's what he uh, causes a lot of trouble. But you mentioned that game, you know, that was one of the best games uh, that I was in. It had everything. Uh, they tied a game when we were up by 10, like a minute to go. And uh, we found a strength in us to, you know, to win the game in overtime. Uh, definitely great experience for me. It was a, it was a tough uh, summer because I had to readjust my schedule a little bit. I haven't seen my family for a month. They stay in Chicago and uh, now I was reunited with them, but uh, Olympics is worth it for it. Tomas, you, you mentioned uh, Billy Hernan Gomez. Um, where did, where does the connection with him come from? Did you, were you teammates with him? Where, how did you get to know him? And he's a really popular player here. Is he? Uh, he? He must have changed now. Uh, <laughs> no, no, really, really is a great guy. Uh, I played with him in Sevilla, my last year in Sevilla. So that is already like, um, let's say, eight, nine years ago, you know, so he was he was super young. Uh, not nine, maybe like seven years ago, seven years ago. He was I was 22. He was probably like 18. Uh, we had one of the youngest team. You know, we played uh, along with Christoph Porzingis, a uh, couple others uh, you know young players in Spain and um, uh, I always loved Billy you know he was one of like one of my uh, younger brothers so it's funny that uh, basketball allows you to uh, you know reunite you your, yourself with, uh, with the old friends all, all basketball players so all teammates so uh, definitely very excited because uh, since I was in NBA we always talked together you know we always went for dinner uh, when we played uh, against uh, each other's teams. And uh, like I told you, he told, he told me about uh, New Orleans teams and teammates, and he always talked very highly of them. So uh, also, thanks to that, I'm very excited. Um, a lot of the international players have always seemed to really enjoy New Orleans as a city. I know mm -hmm. uh, Billy probably didn't get – I mean, everybody on the team that came in didn't get a great yeah. chance to see the city because of the restrictions and everything last mm -hmm. year. But, I mean, how much do you look forward to being able to, to check out New Orleans? I'm looking forward a lot, actually. You know, I, was, I always found New Orleans very interesting. Uh, it's, it's kind of tough to see it from a different angle than what you get uh, as a, someone who's coming uh, – to play uh, as a, with a visiting team. You know, you always live in the same area in a downtown. Uh, uh, so uh, you only see the people uh, drinking <laughs> on the streets. You don't really see a different uh, angle or a different view of the city. But uh, what I've heard from anybody who lived in there, even like from a Czech uh, people or uh, from ex teammates who play there, they always enjoyed it a lot. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a big on restaurants and I know the gastronomy in the city is, is very popular. Uh, you know, uh, just just an interesting city, uh, music, musical city. So uh, I'm definitely going to enjoy everything. Hopefully the, there's going to be less restriction than last year and, and everybody will be able to enjoy uh, the normal things that we used to do uh, in our life. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm very, very exciting about the city as well because uh, I only heard uh, great, great things about it. What, uh, what do you think is the difference? What are some of the things that you've seen between Billy when you first got to know him and now how, how much different of a, of a player do you think he is? 
he loves weight room now. <laughs> yeah, he he got much he got much stronger now. Uh, uh, he always he always likes to you know go lift and everything, but I think he got Americanized a little bit. Uh, I'm always making fun of him, <laughs> but uh, hopefully he get better in his English. I don't know. You guys will be the judge. Uh, I I think he did. Uh, you know, he's been playing in a, in NBA for a long time now too, and. Uh, uh, I like how he found a way uh, to fit in. You know, uh, he had some problems at the beginning when he played for New York uh, in Charlotte as well. But he's the guy, and I like like uh, this about him the most that he always gives you the numbers when he when he get the opportunity. You know, uh, he's the guy who can give you ten and ten in in one quarter. So uh, he's he's always the guy who plays with a lot of energy. Uh, I always, I always uh, tell him that he's like a kid, but I think, I, I, you know, in a good way because he's just playing with a passion and uh, he doesn't care about anything else than just to help his team and play with energy. And I think he did that during his career. And that's why he always fits in uh, whenever, you know, his name is called.